हरे कृष्णा the parikramas are so nourishing that when they finish we we'll, we need to continue we need to have more classes one once a week a class with uh Sudhir Goswami is just like not enough after parikrama is not enough we need at least two classes or three classes a week at least two maharaj so we appeal to you so that you can convince him. Well, you have the feeling of the devotees who go on parikrama, because when the parikrama is finished, even you know to do anything, just to go into the town, and we're not with devotees. We're not. I mean, we're okay, maybe with devotees, but we're not with devotees with Madanga and cartels and oh, we're going shopping. We got to go to get supplies for the temple. Instead of, oh, we're going to a holy place, we're going to like hear about some pastime that took place there. And we're going to the market without Sankitan. It seems like, oh, what happened? Our parakram is finished? How can it be? So your mood is listed by Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, no doubt. Anyhow, the, an the answer is we may try and as you know, oh, I see, I see the back of a car. Okay, no problem. And uh, as you know, we do try to visit places relevant to the time, place and circumstance. And we do have three principal dharms, as you know, Navadeep Dharm, and Brindavan means Matura Mandal, and Puri, Jagannath Puri, Purushottam Dham. In particular, we have these three holy places, and then we do visit other places, and in the reading of Chaitanya Charitamrita, really we feel like we go on Parikrama when we are reading when Mahaprabhu is going to this place and that place on his South Indian tour, when he's crossing over to Brindavan, etc. So, it's not that we only read or hear about the pilgrimage places, but actually, what are the pilgrimage places? They're the places of the pastimes of the Lord and his devotees. So... We do keep revisiting. And the next main festival is uh, December the 21st, which this year, December the 21st, which is Srila Gurudev's Vyasa Puja this year. And that's, guess what, just beside Christmas. So that's also a holiday season, a time for the devotees to come together. And then the New Year's Day for Rupanuga Prabhu and those in Australia. It's the special day of the installation of Mahaprabhu in Australia. And anyhow, New Year's Day is a natural reflection day for everybody. I think in the West, more so than other New Year's Days, because there is a Bengali New Year, there is a that New Year, various different dates. But for the Western world, the 1st of January is very often the reflection day where we think, okay, New Year's resolutions last year, this year, etc. Yes, Praneshwari, good Maharaj, thinking. And, and now that you comment that, today I received a message for Happy New Year from India. And it caught my attention because in my mind, the new year is in Gorpurnima in March. Ah, yes, that is there. But uh, Happy New Year from India. I don't recall the different New Years. There are quite a lot of New Years. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure we could find an answer if we look. But off the top of my head, I can't answer. And Diwali comes in mind that with Diwali, some one calculation of New Year. Anyhow, I cannot okay. say, but if you got a message of Happy New Year, then that's another thing. Somebody's, some indication is there. And indeed, 
Every day is a new day. So let us have a happy new day. And for many of us in the world, means for Seva Rupa in South, South Africa and for Nirupama in Govinda land and for our side, who else? Then this is our morning, our happy new day. So please wish us a happy new day. We can wish you a happy evening <laughs> because you are in the evening time there. And look at Rupa Noga Prabhu. He is showing us the sun. I thought the sun didn't exist when it's night, but look, you see, the sun is somewhere else. There is the sun shining brightly over New South Wales or perhaps Queensland or somewhere else, but there we are with Rupa Nuga Prabhu and his large headphones and Chintamani Devidasi, Jai Dev Prabhu, Kum Kum Devidasi is with us and Paramananda Prabhu where it is already 9 a.m. Hare Krishna and Radha Sundari Devidasi, where it is already 7.30 a.m. Govinda, what a world we live in. Oh, so, uh, yeah, different times. So those of us who are not on Californian time, <laughs> uh, Haribo, those of us who are not on Californian time, then, uh, so far, we've been run we're running these back to back to basics on California time. And so uh, there, after a few hours anyway, after 12 hours, maybe, I do not know how many hours, their clocks go back. So it seems we'll probably continue, but we need to be aware we're on American Californian time. And so it seems quite archaic, this system of clocks going back and forward. But it happens all over the world. But just to be conscious that we'll be an hour different for others next, next week. In four hours is the change. Okay, but for this week, we're at this time, and next week we're an hour different. So just yes. have to figure out what that time is. All right, dear devotees, we've come together and we are, oh, at least five minutes in. We were on time, but time slips by. We, but we were remembering about holy places and the association of devotees. So that's also given us an opportunity. Let Sri Lekha's audio join. Yes, so Sri Lekha, David mm -hmm. And who is there with Sri Lekha with a hat? Raja Mohini. So Sri Lekha's internet. Oh, Sri Lekha's internet. <laughs> I'm here okay. with um, Vaisalai Prabhu and Jayananda Prabhu. Oh, Jayananda Prabhu there. Okay. Very small on our screen, sitting in the distance. Yes, Dayanatai Prabhu. And uh, all, to the, all of the devotees there, Jayananda Prabhu. And to all the devotees who've come together, we were just going through one by one by one. Let us give our obeisances to each other. We've come together somewhere in California. That's our back to back to basics. Bancha kalpaturubhiyas cha, kripa sindupiya, eva cha, patitanam, pavanavyu, vaishnavavyu, namo, namaha. And I don't even know whether Southern California also changes time because it's quite South. Anyway, you know, wherever you live, we're on, essentially San Francisco time. That's how this is defined. Yes, it changes all over the US and uh, Braja Mohini and the devotees, they are in Sri Lanka's connection. So they are in Utah. They are not in California. Right, but our time, I don't know which states change and don't, etc. Uh, until I now, will let you know. I will let you know because yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the yeah. time change is in four hours. And I have to say, I've been considering not only the back to back to basics, but other uh, kind of courses or meetings that we have, considering putting them onto Indian time. Then we're all now deep conscious, and then you all you have to be conscious of is your own change of time instead of us trying to match like a jigsaw puzzle, Australia goes forwards on a different day, Europe goes backwards on a different day, 
and America goes backwards on another different day. So it becomes quite a, 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 a jigsaw puzzle. But if we set it on Nabadeep time, then we become Nabadeep conscious. Or as we were just saying a moment ago, that we become mm, Nabadeep, Brindavan, and Jagannath Puri conscious. Because <laughs> those are the three, the three principal dhams, the three principal places uh, of our our Gaudiya Vaishnava line, but we can say our Gaudiya Vaishnava line, but the line of greatest fortune in this world, which is the line of Mahaprabhu's grace. Without Mahaprabhu's grace, we've missed something. Without giving attention, emphasis to Mahaprabhu and Nityananda and their uh, teaching, connection, Leela, then we've missed something. And so, Really, for us, Nabadeep, it is the, the most important of all the dhams. And as Goswami Marsh pointed out yesterday or the day before, then he pointed out that Mahaprabhu only once went to Brindavan. He once went to Brindavan, but of course had his uh, extensive younger age, as it were, Leela in Nabadeep, and then he had his extensive later pastimes, Antya Leela, in Puri, in Jagannath Puri. So we do give particular attention to each of these dams at different times of the year. And naturally, Gauraponima, we're very Nabadeep centered. And during the time of Jagannath Rathayatra and other occasions, uh, then we're very, and especially reading Chaitanya Charitamrita when we get on to the Madhya Lila and then the Anti Lila, very much Puri centered. And times like this then means Kartik time, um, etc. Then we're very much Brindavan and, and Govidan. Brindavan means Mathura Mandal. It's the whole area in general known as Mathura Mandal. Then we're very much Brindavan centered. So here we are. And um, good to see you all with us, and I think that most of you here, most of us, then we do actually come together for the, the uh, Parikramas. Today also at, uh, in, what time? 7.30 p.m. Thailand time, so work out your local time, wherever you are. 7.30 p.m. Thailand time, and Thailand, like India, does not change its time. And then uh, will be again Parikrama and probably or possibly Paramananda Prabhu can let us know what is likely to be our Parikrama today. But I think we're going to go out of the boundary of Mathura Mandal, even though we cannot measure the Dham, because you've all learned the 10 offenses to the Holy Dham, correct? Even though we can't go out, so even though we can't measure the Dham, we do go out of Matura Mandal, and I think today we may be going to Jayapur. Is that correct, Parmananda Prabhu? Well, Can yes. you give a... we're going to we're going to Jayapur, and we're boarding the train in, at Govardhan. Since yesterday we stopped at Kusum Sarovar, came back to our temple. Now we're going to prepare for the next destination of our journey. Then we're going to board that train, which is you remember the timing. <laughs> no, but I can check. Doesn't matter. Because, Doesn't matter. because actually, the Indian railways, for all of the comments from everybody who ever goes to India, because the Indian railways are very much associated with being in India. How did Mahaprabhu travel without Indian railways? Anyhow, for Indian railways, for all of the, you can say, weaknesses, they have some strengths. One is, there's an abundance of trains going anywhere and everywhere. And number two is there's remarkably efficient online tracking and everything else of the trains in India and booking tickets, et cetera. And uh, not necessarily so efficient elsewhere in the world. In fact, I think India's railway system is probably one of the best. Anyway, we should... well, <laughs> I thought today- that train. I it's thought a short ride. Yes, Maharaj. 
No, oh, sorry. I was going to say, I thought today also possibly we can have a bus ride and a train ride. Oh, definitely. And, we're, we're doing that. And the devotees can keep that in mind and think, oh, what's the bus ride part going to be? Ah, wait and see. You have well, to let's come and join. The ride. We will take rickshaw. Let's just try all sorts of transportation available to us. We will have a few tongas, a couple of rickshaws. What else is there, Maharaj? A tempo, maybe, leaving from our Govardhan Ashram to the train station at the Govardhan town. Then we're taking train to Jaipur. Then very quickly, we're doing the whole Jaipur Parikrama. Then we're going to Galta, the place of Baladev Vidyabhushan meeting with Ramanandis and other representatives of different sampradayas. And then, then the bus happening. Going from Jayapur to Natadwar. Natadwar. Yeah. But wow. as you know, we cannot enter Natadwar by the bus. So we have to stop at the outskirts of the city because there is no rickshaws, no rickshaws, no motor cars, no buses, nothing allowed inside of Natadwar town. So we have to walk. And, and those that is our to... program. Those who've been to Natadwa also know you cannot take a bus into Natadwa. <laughs> the streets are extremely narrow. Right. Now, not even the rickshaws are allowed. Nothing is allowed in that town. So it's the rickshaw and motor car free town. And then right. we will take a very short ride again by the same bus to the Ekaling Raj. To ask for blessings of the Maharaja of that area. All right. So this is a, a taste. It's a preview, preview of today's parikrama, and there may be one or two other places that we may be visiting. And actually, on Govardhan parikrama, you know that we spent two days to go on Govardhan parikrama, which we do quite often in India, where we do half come back to the temple, then do the second half. Um, but there are lots of places that uh, we didn't stop, but we gave our obeisances to as we passed by. And so also today, we'll be making our pilgrimage, but there'll be some places we can include and inevitably some places which are super sweet, which we may not be able to, to uh, uh, visit due to the time restraint. Chintamani so Devi Dasi. By the way, hmm? the is asking, preferably a lot of walking. And there will be a lot I... of walking, that's guaranteed. <laughs> what, what about horses? Well, actually, about horses, Paramanand, we just now mentioned, oh, we, we can take a tonga to the railway station. But in Govardhan, I don't think you can even hire a tonga. In Vrindavan, still tongas are there. But it's not very long ago, when I was young, the standard way to get from Mathura railway station to Brindavan was by Tonga. And the Tongas went from Brindavan to Govardhan. It, the Tonga was, was a standard. Oh, Tonga, oh, Chinta, oh, you young ones. Okay, for you young ones out there in the world. A Tonga, it's the, the horse taxi, basically. And so, but it's a horse shared taxi. In other words, it's one horse at the front, at the front, of course, and behind the horse is being pulled the tonga, which has the two big wheels. And then you've got uh, people facing forward and facing backwards. So <laughs> sitting on the, so you've got a, basically a bench with two sides and it's a, a bit of a bouncy ride because the horse bounces as he tip clops along, but also, well, the, you, you may have a hint, the roads are sometimes quite bouncy, so it can be quite a bouncy ride. But re that really was the, the standard way to get from uh, Mathura to Brindavan and from Brindavan to uh, Govardhan. But nowadays, the Tonga is in Brindavan a little bit, but it's more or less tourist purpose. 
but it was the functional purpose. And I've been in traffic jams of Tongas for sure. And then it feels just like any other traffic jam, except it's with horses and Tongas instead of cars and motorcycles. Yes, Priyanana Devidasi, she's joined us from Thailand too, from Gupta Govardhan. We, and we were just mentioning how at the moment in particular, we've been very Govardhan conscious and we cannot but have uh, helped to notice that it's been Govardhan Puja, Govardhan Parakrama and the Govardhan connection, the Govardhan connection of our temples, of our Sampradaya the source of our greatest fortune, as Guru Maharaj said, Nabha Deep Dham, and the source of our greatest fortune, Guru Maharaj saying specifically, Chaitanya Sarasat Math at Koladanga, Kola Deep, Aparad Banjanapat, the place where all uh, offenses are forgiven. If we come and sincerely surrender, it's not, we get a ticket, walk in, all offenses are gone, get a ticket, walk out, and okay, I'm pure. That doesn't work, sorry. Even though we've heard devotees say, oh, it says in the scripture, this, this, this. But, but, there is a but at the end of it. Okay, here from Chintamani, I bet Tonga traffic jams are better B, C, or because, maybe no beeping, because the horses spook. <laughs> horses in India, also even there may not be many cars, but you can be sure they would beep. So they're already beep conscious. But the Tongas, I think they just called out. I don't remember. They didn't have that, like on the rickshaw, oh, 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 the air horn. I think the drivers just called out. They and also you can get very slippery, Mara. What is slippery? When there is a Tonga traffic jam. It's very slippery. The oh. horses, they don't have e exhaust pipes. They have different uh, means of relieving themselves. Ah, uh, but they did have uh, sacks hanging off the back of them, so collected. Oh, well, that's very thoughtful. <laughs> and, Maharaj, uh, the what is might be wondering, why are we going to Jaipur? You just mentioned the uh, principal dams and uh, other holy places, so maybe you can shed some light. What is so important for us there? Why are we going there? Sure. And why, okay, there is a specific reason we go to Jaipur, but why do we go to holy places? Why do we go uh, to uh, Eka Chakra? Eka Chakra is not in Nabadeep Dam. Why do we go to, you know, Bamanpara, Hapanya? They are outside of the official Dam, as it were and to other places. We are going in order to give honor to the holy places for whatever the specific reason may be. And we're going as savor. This is another thing. I mean, really everything we do, we know everything we eat, everything we give away, all these things, any penances we do should be for Krishna. And going on pilgrimage, it is also to be done in savor. So, as Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, then, oh, I look forward to the day when I'll be able to follow in the footsteps of Mahaprabhu, go to the places of Mahaprabhu's Leela in the company of loving devotees. And so, for an excuse for Sadhu Sangha and a, a charging of our batteries, getting inspiration by visiting various places connected with the Lord's Leela and the pure devotees Leela, the devotee section, the Parshad section Leela, then we're getting much inspiration. And going to Jayapur, then we are going there for the darshan of Govindaji and Gopinathji and other of the, the original deities of Vrindavan, who themselves 
due, due to circumstances, anyhow, that they arranged, because nothing is separate from the Lord, that who themselves came from Vrindavan to Jayapur. So Jayapur, it is a center of, the, of devotion, first of all, the devoted kings and devoted um, residents of the past, not only the kings, but the population of the past. And then they drew the Lord to come to their city in the form of these ancient deities discovered, rediscovered by Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, etc. And so we are going to Jaipur as one of the, these special places connected with the Lord's uh, Leela. And near Jaipur also, then we are going for, again for pastimes connected with the Lord and his devotees Leela, one of the very uh, pillar, pillar estab establishing pillars, supporting pillars of what is Gaudiya Vaishnavism came at Galta, which is just outside Jayapur city. Walking distance, in fact, we don't even need to take a bus, but we do out of convenience of limited time. But in Galta is very nearby. And so this is a pillar of our Gaudiya Vaishnavism. So very closely related where we can be reminded of what has taken place since Mahaprabhu's appearance through to the present time. And so many incidences and so many personalities that we can think if they had not existed, if they had not made their contribution, then right now we may have quite a different uh, view of what is Gaudiya Vaishnavism, as Bhaktivinoda Thakur had in, in his Leela in his earlier lifetime. Then he, then Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he then he came to recognize the greatest, the greatest gift of Mahaprabhu. And then went about uh, seeing how can this be made known to everybody? How can this be shown? And so Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he has referred to and he has shown what is our Sampradaya and who has made like significant contributions, the pillars supporting our Sampradaya from Mahaprabhu's time to the present. And is Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur revealed, as we hear, revealed the heart of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur through his uh, regular publications, which include, included a daily publications, then he broadcast to the world, the glories of Balade Vidyabhusa and Vishwanath Chakravati, the Sampradaya of the next generations after Mahaprabhu, as well as the Sampradaya and the great Vaishnavas of uh, Mahaprabhu's time. So Mahaprabhu's Leela, Krishna's Leela, all of this being revealed by our Acharya section. Hare Krishna. So we are going in service and we are going knowing, knowing something of the nature of Gurudev. Gurudev certainly is happy that we are able to go and in this Zoom way also that we are able to come together and cleanly, happily, simply come to uh, uh, fulfill the function of pilgrimage, which is Sadhu Sangha Association and hearing the glories of the Lord and his devotees. So service, and when we've gone to other holy places, always our central theme is, okay, is Gurudev happy? Is Guru Maharaj happy? We are trying to make, uh, make them happy means we are trying to do what is pleasing to them. It's not just a question of calculation. It's not a, anything of a question of calculation. In a family, we check in with the, with the father and mother. We don't just, well, we shouldn't just go off wherever we like and be independent. We want to be under their affectionate guidance. We un want to be under their caring eye. But we do not neglect Navadip Dham. We do not neglect Puri Dham. We do not collect in, uh, neglect Vrindavan. And when we are chanting and visiting, chanting the glories of and visiting 
the holy places in Vrindavan and Govardhan, you can hear and see that always there's a, the simultaneous connection and reminder of Navadip and Puri. It's Navadip, Puri and Vrindavan, which are the, the very key places for the Gauriya Vaishnava family, for our, ourselves. This is, these are our family places. Hare Krishna. Anyhow, today I was thinking to ask you all what questions you have. And actually, you see, we had a Tonga question. <laughs> we don't know what the Tonga is. That's wonderful. That's fine. But there are many things which we know we may take for granted in talking about Govardhan Parakrama, things related with Govardhan Puja, etc., that there may be many things which the devotees are scratching their head and wondering about. And here we are, if we can be of assistance, then we've got Kum Kum Devidasi who can help us out, Praneshwari Devidasi who can help us out, Braja Mohini and the team in Salt Lake City who don't have the heating on by the looks of it, they can help us out. Maharaj, uh, Kum Kum Didi is a little bit under the weather. That's why his camera is off. Okay, oh dear. But oh, she always has something in her pockets. She doesn't have one pocket, she has several pockets. Therefore, are you asking her to make a... Not necessarily. I mean, she, she's under the weather, so... Yeah, if under the weather we don't want to to put you to strain, but if you have something that you'd like to, to share, then we can give first, first chance, first chance. Mm, not, this is not right. It's not the right wording, but give our first respect to Kum Kum Didi. Indeed, as the most senior here with us. Well, she's very special, no, no she's problem. very special. Yes. But any question from any quarter? Okay, I have a question. I have a question for Salt Lake City because we have got little news of various places about their festivals and programs and we know that Salt Lake City, they know how to party. And so let us hear from Salt Lake City something about their recent partying. Can we humbly invite each of you to say something or collectively mm -hmm. as you wish? <laughs> oh, we had a we had a very big feast, Maharaj. As as I'm sure there was a big feast pretty much everywhere. Um, we spent the day preparing various offerings, and it was very sweet. Um, many devotees came, and <clears throat> everyone was cooking and and uh, you know making flower garlands, and so that part was we we did our best to. Thinking about uh, Anugiri Raj and how and and um, how all the offerings are placed before him and and uh, also I was remembering um, Aniyor. I don't know if that's a particular Giri Raj or if that's a temple or if that's the name of the town, but that place where he's he's saying, "Give me more, give me more." So we're trying to uh, trying to um, make offerings to, to hungry Giri Raj. Jai. Oh. And today we had a beautiful Hari Nam for how many hours? Was it? Uh, two, two hours. Two hours. And it was just very nice interaction. We went to Park City where all the fancy uh, skiers, it's, it's like a ski community, but there, there wasn't enough snow. So they were in the town walking up and down the streets, shop, window shopping. And, and it was, <laughs> it was very exciting. We were just, uh, it was very nectarine. I think Rajiv, she was smiling more than we've seen her since she's been here too much <laughs> today. She really likes Hari Nam and she wants to do it. I think every, at least every few days, maybe every three days a week. Is that what you're asking? Or sure. She wants okay. to do it three days a week. Yeah. So she tolerated us very nicely and um, she led a lot of the kirtans. Everyone got to lead pretty much. We had some others. Um, and uh, what do you think, Maharaj, um, about 
if that tendency comes into us to want to just just chant too much or something, <laughs> was that, is that we're, we're thinking we might is that you know because we get away from the the service around the temple and we start going out and doing the Hari Nama, it might it's addictive a little bit, you know. Well, as we mentioned just now, we want to do everything in harmony with our affectionate family. So you, you know, or Sri Laka knows, or Raja Mahini, somebody there knows what are the save and necessities. And so uh, we also normally do Harinam Sankirtan. Uh, we have been at least normally doing Harinam Sankirtan uh, one day a week only, unfortunately. But we also have to be conscious about the seva. And so uh, this time, because it was the the festival and it wasn't possible to just abandon everything the other commitments for the um festival for uh, govardhan puja and the people who were naturally coming then we couldn't do it so anyhow we have to we have to see what savor is needed and work under the necessity of the of the local family so that's the, the call, but it's very healthy to want to go out every day and every moment to Harinam Sankirtan. It is very healthy and good to do. And it's close by, there's a park close by too, not, not the park city, but this, uh, just a block. Yes. So they can, yes. they can do Harinam. Uh, they can do Harinam going to the park, in the park, and coming back from the park. We know that park. Actually, we know that park Oh, well, not every time, but almost most of the time I've been to that park, it's been with Harinam Sankirtan. But I have been walking in the park, but with the devotees and Japa walk in the park. But yes, it's a beautiful place. And Krishna has given that opportunity. And you meet people who are hanging out. They're not rushing here and rushing there. They're kind of hanging out. Yeah. Want to say something, Dale? Here, here comes... Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding. He has a new uh, bathrobe. You should see his shower robe. He looks like uh, a mannequin almost. He looks perfect. Is mine. <laughs> Here's his new uh, saffron uh, bathrobe. Jai <laughs> Purushottam Prabhu. And I saw, I, I looked around to see if you borrowed my hat. I saw you've got a very fluorescent uh, saffron woolly hat. Oh, yes, yeah. that's why I can't find it. You have it. Okay. It is actually wool, too. <laughs> Dying. And these devotees, Maharaj, are, are being so uh, uh, serious with their practice. So we're doing, getting up and chanting lots of mantras. We're seeing the Dhamma Darastakam and, and all the uh, beautiful, so many of the beautiful uh, Kartik songs, as well as the reading. I see them. When I catch them, I thought they're doing nonsense. They're actually sitting and reading the scriptures. So like, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All the devotees are very serious and they're very excited. So that's nice. We're, We're energized here. by Jayananda I and Braja. Definitely. Hi. And for Dayal Netai Prabhu, was this your first Govardhan Puja or you've been previously? Uh, in the Mat, yes. The first one in the Mat. Okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. The mat's the best place to be, to be absorbed in all this Govardhan Kata, mm. Krishna Kata. Jai. This is a very happy, uh, happy, loving, and silly family. <laughs> Jai. <laughs> and it's Kirtaniya land. It is. We'll, we'll turn it off the other devotees. Do you want to say anything else? Okay. Uh, may I say something? We were just happy to see that Jananda Prabhu, so to say, uh, popped out in America because previously he was in, here in Thailand, energized everyone, took part in shooting video for Fudong, and then suddenly we see him in India, then in America. So very nice to see you, Damdavat from okay. Chiang Mai. <laughs> All part of the family. We are close family, but all over the world. Hare Krishna. Yes, contribution from anybody about Govind and Puja. And Ekadashi has joined us too, we see. A lot of silence. <laughs>
Save a rupee, save a rupee, Are you okay? Right. You right. didn't. Tomsk Temple is very famous for a festival arrangement. So let's hear from Ekadashi. Okay, and Seva Rupadidi in South Africa can, can think we may call for her in a moment or two to share something from South Africa. Yes, Ekadashi Didi. Click, click. So we, we can ask straight Ekadashi, how many remembering Devashish story? Uh, in the truth, uh, I don't know, because when I asked uh, Balavanta how many, he said me uh, 109 and uh, 8, and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, uh, he said uh, like that. So I thought maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in, really, we uh, prepare uh, um, food for Giriach uh, two days, uh, first day in Friday uh, before uh, sunrise, and uh, second, yesterday, uh, many devotees come uh, in the temple and uh, uh, give uh, some uh, food for deities and Giriach, and uh, was a very big celebration and what we like about Tom's temple is that they cook in the temple of course but then they engage the community of devotees who are living outside of the temple and they are cooking several preparations and for very, very every festival those devotees they're bringing so they're thinking oh we're going to do 108 and then they end up having 139 180 200 because devotees, they're not bringing just one preparation from their home. They're bringing a few. So it is a very joyful festival every time in Tomsk. And this is something about Govardhan Puja festival, that it is very prasadam oriented, very bhoga offering to the Lord oriented and very, very much a feasting day. Jai. And I can put in one sentence here too was amazing I, really as a as a feast and the preparations and it's a team and no doubt it's a whole team effort but extremely good varied and uh, all homemade and also with the devotees coming and mainly making here in the temple but uh, all credit to the italian team who live in the temple and devotees who came to make it a wonderful festival. Hare Krishna, Seva Rupa Devi Rasi. Would you like to share something? You, were you able to go to the temple there? No, no, I haven't, Maharaj. I've been, um, well, for work, we, I'm flying out to Congo this morning. So, um, and then we also, yes, and then um, we've also just been around with family because it was Diwali and a lot of preparations. Um, so I haven't really had a chance. I've just been caught up on the side and uh, longing to always have association. And every time I see a time that I'm supposed to be at on a Zoom, I'm like, oh, you know, I wish I could be there. But um, yeah, on the side, I've just been, Okay, no problem. We did miss you. I did look through the Zooms. We did miss you here and there. But good to hear you well and keeping busy. Where are you going to? Kinshasa? I think so. I think so, yes. Okay. Stay safe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. That, was, that, that was all part of our our... I couldn't say playground or something. In our young age, the Congo, the, the rainforest is probably all changed by now, but nature is amazing. Krishna is amazing. And everywhere, every guess, everywhere, guess what's happening? People are born, growing up, trying to maintain their families, multiply, diminish and die. And it's happening the same 
with the pygmies in the rainforest as it is with the suited and booted man in New York City. The common problem everywhere, birth, death, old age, disease. Hare Krishna. Yes. And where's Ray Rupa Nuga Prabhu? Yeah, there we are with some Goram Jol. Are you, did, did, you, did you go to the Govinda Dham? Are you in Yukai? No. I'm, I'm with my 95 year old mother sitting over there. <laughs> okay. Hare Krishna, mom. <laughs> Hare Krishna, mommy said. <laughs> oh. All right. Anyhow. Good to have you with us. Your microphone is turned off. If you like to say something, I don't know if you, I don't know where your 95 year old mum is living, uh, but were you able to go to Govinda Dam for the festival? No, I was away and uh, my mother lives in Tweed Heads, just still oh, in New South Wales, but yeah, near the, near the Gold Coast. All right. Got it. All right. Anyway, Rupa Nugru has no, Good to have you with us and for sure yeah. you missed a feast because in Australia, like everywhere, you've got some of the best cooks in the world. In Tom's, <laughs> in, in Tom's, in Italy, in Utah, all over the world, we've got the best cooks in the world. But really Australia, wonderful cooks there too. Hare Krishna. Any question or contribution from anybody? Radha Sundari, you're in Mayapur, correct? If you like to share a little bit from there, if you have the opportunity. Dandavat Maharaj, and your devotees, Dandavat. I am in Mayapur. And I don't know what to share, but if, are you, if you are asking, I can say the Praneshwari was asking about Indian New Year, maybe Diwali, maybe Diwali is Indian New Year also? also I thought because, so. because it was connected, it was very close to, to Diwali. Yes. I, yes. Did, I didn't Diwali. know it was New Year. Yeah, maybe. And also, Ami Sindhu is in Mayapur. Maybe he will come and share something because I'm not so good in speaking. <laughs> but if you ask me something, then maybe I can try to answer. What shall we ask you? Did you have a feast? And did you serve the cows? You have a very clean, probably the cleanest and very beautiful Goshala there in Mayapur. Were you able to do some go saver during the, the the festival times? Yes, we meet Goshala like few days before, and uh, also I I went to one special room for service. They were doing decoration for uh, uh, will come one day like soon is coming. Uh, go past me. So here they celebrate very much Kapashtami. Uh, and, uh, and all cows will be with this hands, with henna and the garlands. And, and uh, like day before yesterday, we celebrate Govardhan Puja. Also very big festival everywhere. In temple they did Govardhan, Abhishek, and in the home who have Giriraj also they did. And we went with the, for children they did program. Uh, they did some small drama about how Giriraj was not satisfied with the many, many preparation and uh, prasada like boga. But when the Tulsi was offered, he was satisfied after that. This kids was playing this, like this part of story um, and uh, about cows are you're asking i was doing my work i start to learn how to do ayurvedic treatments and in here in the 
other building, there is one Ayurvedic center open. So they, I'm there. So I was there and uh, Amia and my mom and Padma, they saw how cow give birth, like downstairs near my balcony. This and happened. Cow, cows are amazing when they're born because they're so alert. Yes. With, with their big eyes and they're able to walk unlike a, a human child that takes so long to be able to be capable with a cow immediately or the calf immediately tries to walk and the mother inadvertently always knocks the cow over because by her affection she wants to lick the cow and doesn't realize how strong her tongue is and <laughs> licks, tries to clean the cow, the baby cow, the calf, and the calf falls over again and again, the poor little calf. Hare Krishna. Yes. So I think in the Govardhan Puja time, Govardhan Puja, this Govardhan festival and being Govardhan centered, really, it is also one of the very um, foundation, the foundation of our devotional life is that Radha and Krishna at Govardhan is the highest original conception of the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. And so all these affectionate dealings and making lots of preparations, hearing the leela of a young seven-year-old Krishna and Indra, Govardhan Hill, the relationship with all the cowherd men and cowherd women, the calves, everything. It's always so beautiful. It's naturally beautiful. And it's a description of our home. And as we've heard and had pointed out repeatedly, all of our principal temples, uh, well, in India, in each of these places of Nabadeep, Vrindavan and Govardhan, they're all, by coincidence or otherwise, connected with Govardhan Hill. And as well as many of our temples around the world. So Govardhan, just a natural feeling, even if we don't know anything else, of that affectionate shelter of Govardhan Hill, Krishna's Leela at Govardhan Hill. This is, again, affectionate shelter. It's a family mood, and we are of the family of Govardhan, Vrindavan, the family of the distribution of Govardhan and Vrindavan, of Mahaprabhu and Nityananda, that family, simultaneously of Nabadeep and Vrindavan. And all of this comes together in, in Jagannath Puri, Jagannath Puri, where Mahaprabhu is showing so many uh, of the moods and the uh, nature of uh, Vrindavan, but showing the union in separation aspect as the highest and himself manifesting that and in the company of his close associates in the Gambira and in various places in Puri and in Puri, just as everywhere in Vrindavan is in Nabadeep, also in Puri, then we have the, these associated places and the Chatak Pavat is the place of Govardhan Hill in Jagannath Puri. And there, I, we can say by coincidence, we, I have some experience with Gurudev of how the land came in Puri. And it wasn't that Gurudev calculated that, oh, we will go to Govardhan Hill and get our land there. He was trying very hard uh, to get property and in different ways to have somewhere for establishing the ashram so the devotees will have somewhere to stay in Puri and establishing the ashram with the blessing of Srila Guru Maharaj. So all in service, of course. And then finally, then this land was given, as Gurudev says, given by Jagannath. Jagannath gave this land where our temple is in Jagannath Puri. And where did Jagannath give that land? He gave that land beside Chatak Pavat, beside the hidden Govardhan of Puri. So... This Govardhan Puja time, it's a very sweet time for all of the devotees and everybody feels it, I'm sure. 
and to be with Gurudev at this time. Oh, Gurudev, very jolly. And by the way, Paramananda Prabhu, he can, Paramananda Prabhu, you can share why you said how many, because we heard this story from Devashish yesterday, and this is classic. So Paramananda Prabhu can say that. And well, I, I think everybody heard Devashish Prabhu telling that story, but he was basically saying that they, have that, they had that thing going on when Shri Gurudev would call him on every uh, Govardhan Puja and ask a straight question before saying pretty much anything else. How many? Meaning, how many preparations were offered in our East London mud by the devotees? And then Gurudev would uh, tell how many were in Navadvip and Devashish Prabhu said that. He was always a victorious um, in that game. So the Navadvip number of preparation was always more than the London, and also he was mentioning that devotee, Sudam Saka, who, who would prepare 108 different preparations oh. just from milk. Wow. And was it Sudam Saka, was, his name? That's what he said, Maharaj. Okay, if that's what he said, very good, yes, okay. And uh, that also reminded me how on one Govardhan Puja, remember that's England, London is like the center of the world where everything is easily available. But I remember a Govardhan Puja of 1991, and I was in uh, uh, close to the polar circle of Russia. So we had no much milk available there, but we had plenty of potatoes. And it was Govardhan Puja, <laughs> we're doing book distribution. So we had this devotee with us who bravely decided, he said, I'm going to make 100 day preparation. I just laughed. I said, for well, what? We have few, few pickled cucumbers. We have a bunch of potatoes and I don't know what else. He said, don't worry, I will make them from potatoes. And he did. And that was just incredible. Till this day, I think it was some kind of a miracle. He had so much desire to do so. 100 day preparations from a potato. It's a, that is amazing. And here we yeah, had yeah. many preparations. I don't know how many, but I did count. There were 10 milk sweet preparations. And I was thinking that was a lot. And they were all different. I mean, different milk sweet preparations. And very like Brindavan. I don't know the names of them, but some of those sweets, not only the appearance, but the, but the taste. Oh, no, they didn't have pera. They didn't do that. No, I think pera... Even if you get the recipe, it only works in Vrindavan. There's some mystic thing there. But then I'm thinking, this is a lot of preparations. And then Devashish, who mentioned about the devotee Sudama, maybe, who made 108 milk sweet preparations. That's without the savouries and all the other things. That's amazing. And shows also the inventiveness and the heart of the devotees to, to please, to do something nicely on these occasions. And when you have something like that in your heart, there is nothing impossible. Krishna happily fulfills your devotional desires. And like he says in Bhagavad Gita, I am supplying all the necessary ingredients. By the way, it's a different story, but there's a beautiful talk of Srila Gurudev on that particular verse and that particular subject. By the way, the devotees here will be, would certainly be interested in the 108 potato preparations because at the moment we have like pumpkins and they've in they literally they've made some list and adding to the list almost every day something different to make out of pumpkins and we really so many things now and i that, see in the eyes of akadashi she is up for a competition she is like up for a challenge now she is thinking what can we do in Tom's? I expect in Tom's, they're quite into the pickles too. We see this in Russia, that collecting so many things in the summer during a short a growing season in the summer. And then I see so much pickling. And then many of the houses, they have a cellar. And then in the, in the dark cellar, they have this row, the, all the rows and rows of pickles. I've seen this in different places. Let's ask Maharaj, because we're not talking about pickles, we're talking about prashadam pickles. Of when course. We speak of our Tomsk temple, so Ikadashi. How many different pickle preparations are uh, in the cellar of pickle? Tomsk temple? 
What means uh, pickle? Это, это, знаешь, соленые, все соленые огурцы там и так далее, как вот эти все вещи. Сколько вы всего uh, запасли? Uh, у нас есть кладовка, у нас есть два склада, и два этих склада, они полностью переполнены. Один из них в храме, а другой еще в погребе. Очень They много two всего. In the temple. Both are filled to the roof. As I expected. Что там? Получается, капусту мы еще не солили, мы будем ее скоро солить, и у Балы было, он прям Говорил, покажите, сколько капусты будете резать, чтобы я знал, сколько нужно соли положить. Вот. И потом мы уже засолили огурцы. Гока там бесконечно каждый день их солила в течение лета. И потом к нам приезжает преданная Матхурия, и она делает очень вкусную кабачковую икру. Well, Maraj, there are so many good things. They have mountains of cucumber, pickled cucumber. That's already in the cellar. Now they're preparing to pickle cabbage, and that's going to be you know, hundreds of kilos of cabbage pickled. Then they have mashed uh, eggplant, a special Russian recipe, also pickled. And really, for, for the Siberian devotees, it's not just doing it for fun. You got to survive. You have to offer something to yep. the deities during the uh, winter time. I'm pretty sure, Maraj, you, you've been there during the winter, right? Yes, I have indeed. So not much available, and there is a few meters of snow on the surface. So it's, even if you want to dig something under, uh, from under the ground, it's very you know, challenging. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, two years ago, uh, Suvada uh, thought about uh, pickles, uh, some vegetables, but uh, in uh, these years and last years, we uh, froze uh, many, many vegetables. Happily saw the garden photographs, yes, and the devotees all coming together in the spring to prepare the garden and plant as soon as possible. Yes. Yeah. And also they have this season when they even stopped Zoom meetings because they were so busy yep. gathering things in the forest, herbs, berries, well, maybe some mushrooms. Jai. Anyhow, this is a reminder to the rest of the world and other places where, for instance, in Thailand, in Brindavan, in Nabadeep, the so many places all year round you go to the market and it's just a, a, a picture of color, variety, whatever the vegetables are that are in season at the moment. And that in Brindavan, that market in Brindavan, it's a, a super place all through the year to go there. And but then you, we realize it's one kind of luxury to get fresh vegetables and fruits year round. Hare Krishna, we must always think what we have, what we don't have. We must always make the most of whatever we have in service. And one of the most va valuable things we have is each other. So we are appreciating also each other that we come together and also Maladhari did is sending her obeisances she's on and uh, the Facebook and Madhava Prabhu I saw is there and sending his obeisances his pranam to everybody and there may be others on Facebook because as I know as you know I don't see somehow don't see everybody but to all of you to everybody we appreciate you very much and We are here together and on the coming uh, next Thursday, remember that the time will be Californian time, the same time as this time. So just work it out, whatever your local time is. And let's see what we may do in the future as far as fixing a time instead of it being changed, coming backwards and forwards with the day time saving. But for now, we'll follow that next week will be the time. All right. And changing to Indian time would be ideal, Maharaj, because BBBC is is not here in the States only. It's everywhere. Right, right. We see that. And I think but the next week's timing, I think, is better for most of us because uh, 
anyway, the next week's timing will be better for most of us. Yes, yes. I think. We'll discuss that next week. And yes, Narayani Nadiriri, we are very happy, Narayani, to see you. We met you. We were with you on Parikram a couple of days ago and was happy to see you there. Hope all is well with you. And for Kum Kum, please get well soon. Little down today, but with the good wishes of the devotees assembled, we hope that you may be back in full 100% spirits soon. And to all of you, oh, please, if, we, if you can, join us uh, the same time, Thailand time, the same time today, Thailand time, 7.30 p.m. in Thailand, then we'll be being energized with uh, pilgrimage to some known and some unknown places. Please tune in and visit us then. And to uh, Jayananda Prabhu, Dayal Nithai Prabhu, the team there, and Braja Mohini Didi, who's probably there just off camera, Purushottam Prabhu, everybody, to the team there in Utah, very happy to have us have you with us your evening this evening and to each of you one by one by one by one by one a big welcome and happy to have you with us and this week chintamani and jayadev who have been so quiet will give some more opportunity for each of you to make some sounds next week jai shi giriraj govardhan ki jai shi giriraj parikrama ki jai and jai shi gurudev ki jai shi guru maharaj ki jai shi prabhupad ki jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Ki Jai and Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Bhaga Ki Jai and all our present day Sri Chaitanya Sarasar Acharya Brinda Ki Jai all the assembled devotees Ki Jai Sri Pad Paramananda Prabhu Ki Jai our senior devotees Kum Kum Devi Rasi Ki Jai and indeed all of the devotees one by one Maladhari Devi Rasi Ki Jai a senior devotee with us here too and Narayani she may look very young but she is actually a senior devotee in born into devotee devotional life so there we are my dandabad pranam to all of you vancha kalpa turubhya cha kripa sindubhya eva cha patitanam pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namaha excuse me excuse me dandabad from um dandabad from tunga rasa didi Ah, okay, Tungarasadidi in Norway. Our Dandavat to you and good to have you with us. Jai. Jai Srila Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj Ki Jai. Oh, have a safe journey going to Congo, just see. Thank you. All right. Dandavat, Dandavat. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bo. Hari Hari Bo. Ami Ashi.